now. It's it's pretty dismal today. Those are the San Gabriels up there. The mountains. Mount Wilson is right there, but you cannot see no thing because of the smoke from the fires. I mean, wow. Folks, how you doing? Welcome back. It's Charlie. It is Thursday afternoon, September 2nd, 2021. September. Oh, almost said August. Holy cow. Uh, this last uh, last few months of the year is just uh, really whizzing by before you know it. We'll be in the holidays quickly, quickly before you know it. For me, it's Halloween. I am here now. I am over here by PCC. That is the Pasadena Community College. And I have an appointment down over on this end. I used to come over here quite a bit, but uh, I don't really anymore. This is the, uh, well, you know, I don't know. Probably student, maybe mixed faculty or faculties back there. There's two lots over here, actually. There's this big lot and then there's another one way back in the day there used to be when they normally had the um and yeah they used to have i think either both sides of the uh the swap meet over here it's about maybe once or twice i think a month now oh, it's been so it's been so long honestly i can't even remember but they used to have the this is a good one honestly if you are into antiquing and looking for some rarities of any kind of collectible actually but particularly also like toys old toys and maybe the metal and tin toys this place is uh well was you know i think they still do it i'm not sure i have to check if they do i will put a link down below remember it is the uh, heart of it. This is Colorado and parking is right now. This place doesn't really like so many places in this country. This place used to be really bustling. I mean, there used to be kids all over the place. And the ones that really profited over here was the Carl's Jr. parties over here. The Japanese place, the Polo Loco, and especially more so the ja uh, Jack in the Box over there, which I used to patron quite a bit, especially because for us homeless folks, it was like the cheap place to go. But yeah, this place is really, really desolate. Especially right here because they had built uh, not too long ago, well, several years ago, this roundabout over here. 
special needs folks. It's so it's so empty around here now. But they're busy on the grounds. front entrance I believe and that is the reflecting pond they drained it I think last year that also because of the, the drought I believe or upcoming that is a classic motel I've been there that is a great place particularly on the second floor all the way to the left is a rather nice three section suite. This place, uh, I don't know if they still allow it, but it was kind of a secret place for homeless folks to take a shower. Way back in the day. Actually, I had a interview back over here back over to the right by uh, another YouTuber a few years ago when I was still homeless and I think when I was yeah when I was still working for Sugarfish this was one of the places that I stayed at it's a good campus actually CDC and then Caltech is situated back over here somewhere but I think when they do have the swap meet it's usually held over here on this lot both lots are over here and I think there was an indoor one I'm not sure I can't remember but it was a great place to to go for looking for rare collectibles and stuff like that just a great place to uh, to get out and spend the day. So I used to come over here mainly just to uh, go to the Carl's Jr. that used to be over here on the corner. And now, when I was still, they had built another 99 cent store over here. And this was another place. Actually, this place is a little bit bigger. Kind of alternate between that one and the one closer to where I live. Because some had different things that the other ones didn't. The Saga. This was, I think, one of the classic uh, motor in lodges. It's beautiful back in the day. I particularly like this because it used to... Uh, have like in the evening time it used to be a lot of uh, Malibu lights especially I think uh, lighting up on the palm trees throwing upwards so it was pretty cool these places I would have to say definitely have suffered a lot with the lack of students a few years ago they started really building up over here there's been different kind of eateries here that place right there the B of A used to have a Starbucks in there uh, that's about 15 years old I believe give or take and a taco place a Chick-fil-A a 99 cent store uh, a thrift store that I used to like to come over here because it was much much less expensive and you just get a lot more better fitting clothes and a better selection of clothes uh, the out of the closet Store. I'd rather go there than honestly than Salvation Army or the Goodwill because it just seems like the uh, you're almost paying retail prices versus something for a used. I don't know. And 
this is the parking lot where they normally would hold the swap meet. All right, we'll chat later. A bummer. This was uh, out of the closet. It looks like they're closed. This is a great place to shop. Much better than, uh, like I said, Salvation Army. Actually, I'd rather go shopping at a local thrift store versus Salvation and Goodwill. It's just they're so corporate now. Sony's camera. Yay! Federico's Bakery is over there. That's where I had my wedding cake made. That is Federico's Bakery right there. Put a lift down there. I think my wedding cake was buttercream. Pretty sure. I don't even really remember the meal. So doggone tired. Where the hell is it? It looks like there's a, another thrift store here. Check this place out when I want to go to. I think this used to be. Store. Now, there's a lot of eateries here too. Well, you definitely have a lot of eateries here for us. There is Lucky Baldwin's over there. That's the second one. The other one is over in Old Town. You know, and I don't remember. I keep wanting to think that that building right there in the corner, that Tudor style. English, I think, I think that was, it just screams of an old kind of uh, buffet type of style restaurant that we used to have here called Sir George's Smorgasbord's back in the day. Behind me here is Sammy's camera. Alright folks, I think that's about it for me. I am done taking care of business over here. The Eddie Nice Set Store. Whilst I was over here. Um, Sammy's camera. One day I shall be able to record. Revisit over here. I actually was down here for uh, for an interview. I think it went well. Interviews are so weird nowadays. I don't know. I just, it's different. Do you have a, do you have a phone? Yeah. Can you scan this? Yeah. Then you just, I don't know. I'm just very old school about uh, uh, just being one-on-one -on -one and more personal and I don't know. It is so different. Very sterile, I guess I could say. But anyway, we'll see what happens. I have uh, actually a couple more next week, so I'm kind of looking forward to those as well. All right, my friends, I think I shall end it here. Well, I think if I can make it in time. So you folks take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but always take care of yourselves first. Love one another, trust one another, be kind to each other, help one another. Sharp Seating Company. This is where you get your tickets for the, for the parade here in Colorado. Quick subscribe, comment, and that's it. I'm kinda out of breath. I gotta go home and 
hit the old inhaler. All right, folks. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.